welcome you nine to this video on similarity. Um, this is a little bit of an introduction. Um, just looking at uh, what makes a shape similar. Uh, how do we know if it's similar um, in terms of what, what calculations can we do to work it out? And then also looking at something called the scale factor. Okay, so two shapes are going to be similar if a couple of things are, um, a couple of conditions are met. And one of those is that all angles in the shape will be the same. Not only that though, that's not enough to make two shapes similar. We also need these two corresponding sides, so two matching sides in two of the different shapes that we examine. They've got to be in the same ratio. So when we compare their lengths, uh, say length of the enlarged one compared to length of the original one, and then we do that for another set of sides, the, uh, the answer that we should get is the same. So the scale factor, in other words, is the same. When I... Uh, just down here, when I started making this video, I thought it might be useful just to write down how can we work out the scale factor mathematically? Well, one thing you can do is look at the shape and you can see uh, how, how much one side has been multiplied by to get the larger shape. And that should be the same for all sides. But if you want that, say, as in, in a fractional form, as a ratio, you can follow this, this rule here. Scale factor will be equal to the length of the image. So I just say that's the second shape after it's been enlarged or after it's been shrunk. The second shape compared to a corresponding length. So that means we're looking at the same side in the corresponding shape, um, the same side in the original so if we do that, we'll get a number here. Sometimes it's a fraction because we can't simplify it any further, and that's okay. All right, so let's have a look at some examples to make this a little bit more clear. If I just go to this slide here. Are these two shapes similar? Well, for starters, we have two rectangles, don't we? So we know what is the angle in here. 90 degrees and we know that in a rectangle all of these angles here will be 90 degrees. That's not enough to say that these two shapes are similar though because we know that we can obviously enlarge this rectangle here from the original and we may not get a shape that's got the same proportions. Remember with similar shapes we're enlarging but we're enlarging each side by the same factor. Okay, so how can we work it out? Well, what we can do is compare the corresponding corresponding sides, corresponding side lengths. So what I mean by that is if I'm comparing the length or the longest side in this rectangle to a side in this rectangle here, it's got to be the same. So the longest side here compared to the longest side in there, that rectangle, shorter side in this rectangle compared to shorter side in the other. Let's compare the two scale factors. We can do that in the same step. 6 over 3. So what I'm saying is the scale factor in this example length of the image, the second shape, compared to length in the original. So 6 over 3. If these two shapes are similar, that's got to be equal to the ratio of the other two sides, so 4 over 2. So, is this equal? Is 6 over 3 the same as 4 over 2? It is. Both of these are equal to 2. One thing that you can do also is notice that this side here to get to that side there, to enlarge it from 2 to 4, I would multiply by 2, wouldn't I? Times by 2. And that's also what's happened here. To get from this side to compare to that one over there, I'm multiplying by 2 as 3 times 2 is 6. If I were asked what is the scale factor of that shape, however, what is the scale factor? The scale factor is 2. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Maybe not those, just that, these ones here. Let's examine these triangles and answer this question. Are these two triangles similar? Have a look and see if you can answer the question before I do it. Okay. 
All right, what I'm going to do is just like I did in the, the last example, I'm going to compare these sides. I'm going to compare this base of the triangle to the base in the first. I'm going to compare this side here with that side over there. And finally, I'll compare the hypotenuse, the two hypotenuse sides. So let's do the base first. Now this is my image. I might just write that there. And that's the original. So what I can say, sometimes it's easier to do it this way, that the scale factor is equal to length in the image over a length in the original. Now what I should get is when I do this ratio, 5 over 3, 12 over 4, 13 over 5, if they are similar, that scale factor must be the same for each ratio. But what do we get here? 5 over 3, we've got 12 over 4, and we've got 13 over 5. Now, ask yourself, are these the same? Well, 12 over 4 is 3, isn't it? 5 over 3 is not 3, and that is not equal to 13 over 5 either. If I simplify these here, they are not the same. So what I'll do is say not equal, not equal. Therefore, you can use this little symbol, therefore, these triangles are not similar. And why? Because their sides are not in the same ratio. So this part here, this ratio, length of image over length of original, it is not the same for each side. Finally, what we can do is look at just some examples of finding the scale factor. Now, it says find the scale for these pairs of similar shapes. That's telling me that they are similar. This is different very different to the last question where we weren't told they were similar we were checking if they were all right so let's work this one out the scale factor might just write sf for short that might be quicker length of the image over length of the original so 3 over 1.5 What's 3 divided by 1.5? This is an easy one. We know that 1.5 times 2 is 3. Therefore, 3 divided by 1.5 is 2. This is a scale factor of 2. This square, each length, has been doubled to get that square there. Scale factor of this one here. Now, as we can see, the image is smaller than the original. But that's okay. We can have a fraction as our scale factor. The length of the image in this case is 2. Compare that to a corresponding side. And then we'll simplify. So what we have here, instead of multiplying by a number greater than 1, we're multiplying by a fraction less than 1, which means that the shape is getting smaller. Multiplying by a third is, is the same as saying this shape here is being divided by 3. Each length is being divided by 3. So it becomes a little triangle. Let's have a look at this one here. Image compared to original. So let's compare these lengths here. 6, obviously that's the length, so we'll take the length in the other rectangle, the longer side. Compare those, 6 over 4. Now I've got another set that I can compare to here. Because they are similar, these should be the same. Let's compare the width as well. 3 over 2. Are these the same? They are, aren't they? If we halve the top and the bottom, we get 3 over 2. And we can leave that like that because that is a fraction in its simplest form. So the scale factor for this pair of rectangles is 3 over 2. So like one and a half, we're basically multiplying this by one and a half to get the larger tri the, the larger rectangle, I should say. Last one here. This is a funny shape. It's a composite shape. Looks like um, two rectangles joined together. 
I'm going to do the same thing as before. Now let's compare, say, this longer side, the 6, compared to the 8. So the image compared to the original. The smaller side, 3, compared to the 4. So this side here corresponds to that side. Now, are these two the same? Yeah. Half the six, half the eight, or how many twos go into six, how many twos go into eight, and we get three over four. I can't simplify this any further. What this means is this shape here is three quarters of that shape there, so it is smaller. If I multiply each of these, four by three over four will give me three. Eight by 6 over 8 or 8 by 3 over 4, as they are the same thing, will give me the 6. So as you can see, we can get sometimes um, our, our scale factor in a fractional form. And it might be a fraction like this that's less than 1, therefore our shape is getting smaller. Or it could be a fraction that's greater than 1, like this one. So this is where it's getting bigger. Likewise, you can also get a, a a fraction that will simplify to a whole number and as we can see that's where we're just multiplying each side length by that number to get the side lengths in this the other image in, in the other shape the image of that shape okay hopefully um, that has has been uh, made a little bit more clear to you if you were struggling with the similarity from our previous lesson what we will be looking at next are similar triangles Thank you for listening.